If you are a consultant or any kind of professional service provider, what you're really selling is your ideas. The better your ideas, the more value you can create for clients and the more you can charge. But when was the last time you thought about the quality of your ideas? When was the last time you asked yourself, is this the best I've got? Could my ideas be any better, any stronger? Is there anything I can do to improve the quality of my ideas? Because if you ask yourself that question, the answer is always going to be yes. There's always room to improve the quality of your ideas. And when you're in the business of selling ideas, you better make sure you've got a process to make those ideas better and stronger. Now, I've found that there are three keys to improving the quality of my ideas. When I do these three things consistently, my ideas get better and stronger. And when I don't do these three things, they get worse and worse. The first key is sleep. Now, I'm no sleep expert, but I do know a few things from my own lived experiences. When I don't get enough sleep, my mind is foggy, I can't think straight, I make bad decisions, and caffeine doesn't really help a whole lot. But when I do get enough sleep, I wake up with a clear mind, and quite often, good ideas simply come to me without much conscious effort, and then caffeine is a great power-up. Now, there's a lot of nerdy research to back all of this up, which I'm not gonna go into, but if you're interested, you can look that up on your own. Bottom line here is sleep is really, really, really important. If you think you can cut back on sleep to get ahead, you're playing a losing game. The second key is free time. Now, I know what you're thinking. This guy wants me to be lazy. He wants me to sleep and take time off. It's not what I want. It's not about being lazy, but it is about giving your brain some room to breathe. There's really no pride in having a packed schedule with back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back commitments and appointments because what it really means is you're not giving your brain enough time and space to process the day's events and to make sense of everything that's going on in your life and in your business and your work. It's just run, busy running from one appointment to another and it has no time to decompress and unwind. So you've got to schedule in free time or some white space to you know, let the mind wander and not force it to focus all the time. Great book on this topic, by the way, is a book called Tinker, Dabble, Doodle, Try, I believe it is. Uh, it's on the power of the unfocused mind by a Harvard psychologist named Srini Pillay. The third key is your inputs. You know what they say, right? Garbage in, garbage out. The information that you consume literally shapes your ideas. So if your inputs are primarily Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Snapchat and a little bit of Netflix for good measure, I gotta tell you, I don't have a whole lot of hope in your ideas. But if you're reading interesting books, if you're listening to smart podcasts and thought leaders and influencers, and you're otherwise consuming intellectually stimulating content and you're engaging with new ideas and new perspectives, your ideas can't help but get better. And this is, by the way, not limited to your industry. A great way to supercharge your ideas is don't just stick to the stuff that everyone in your industry reads or listens to. That's a great way to make your ideas like everybody else's. So those are the three keys to better thinking and stronger ideas. I'm sure there are more. So if you have any additional tips or keys that you wanna share, go ahead and share them in the comments. If you're listening to this on the podcast, come and join us on LinkedIn for the conversation. Thanks.